15-year-olds in court this week for allegedly murdering an 18-year-old. The incident happened on an April night in Moore. We're now learning a third teen has been charged in the killing, and now perhaps we know the reason why. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has been following the story. She brings us an update. Natalie? Brent, court documents say the three teens were involved in a drug deal with the victim and tried to rob him before allegedly shooting him. It's, it's, it's tragic. Um, it's tragic for everyone involved. Another break in a more teen's horrifying murder. We have three juveniles um, who are in custody and, and one person that's dead. Court documents revealing 17-year-old Austin Schumann, whose picture was not yet available, is now behind bars for his involvement in the violent killing of 18-year-old Ralph Frere Valvadinos back in April. And it just goes to show you how um, senseless acts can lead to much larger things. The deadly incident near Northwest 26th Street and Santa Fe Avenue was initially thought to be a tragic car crash. To a vehicle collision, a vehicle departed the roadway and struck a pole. But the investigation taking a chilling turn. They discovered that the driver and sole occupant of that vehicle had sustained a gunshot wound. Court documents say Schumann, along with 15-year-olds Julian Perez and Valentin Chavez, asked the victim to come inside a house on Santa Fe Avenue. When he refused, Schumann allegedly started calling him names. The trio then went outside to the victim's car and documents say Perez quote said something to the victim about giving him something. He then shot the pistol at the victim. The three involved juveniles were likely involved in uh, a sort of drug transaction um, with the victim. The court documents alleging the three teens were going to quote rob the victim of his property and says phone records show Schumann was looking at photos of the victim on his cell phone before and after the shooting. All three of them have been uh, charged with the offense of murder in the first degree. A court date for Schumann has not been set yet. Lieutenant Johnson says more police are still looking for other persons of interest.